In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the custom CSS function in the reports package to generate all the components necessary to have a custom CSS file for use with RStudio and Knitter. In RStudio, when you have an RMD file and you press knit to HTML, the output is an HTML file that's kind of dull and boring. And what you can do is style the aesthetics of this with a custom um, CSS file. There's a couple components that need to be uh, created, and the custom CSS function does that for you automatically. First thing we we look at, or the first argument we'll look at in custom CSS is the R profile function or argument. And what that's asking, hey, should we dump something called the style.r in the R profile so that it sources every time you start up this um, directory? and this is pretty useful to set this to true I usually do though this is not the default behavior and let's take a look at what the um, style.r function is right here it is it's recommended on the knitter website for creating custom CSS's and this will dump this in your .r profile second argument is lock and this is short for location and it, it's saying hey this is where you need to put the custom CSS folder and the style that are and, and all the necessary components and by default if you have a new report um, directory that you've created it will dump in the report uh, directory so here's our root foo and the, by default it is dumping the CSS files in this report directory and then here we have an argument style.css and this is where you can pass custom CSS files um, to uh, custom CSS to be used as the style.css file if it's null which is the default a uh, blank one will be generated and the last one argument is source and this is useful and it's saying hey should we go ahead and source this style.r function right off the bat so that you can start right away um, using the custom CSS function or custom CSS capability and the default is set to true on that let's get started with actually seeing this in action so first thing we want to type is start custom underscore CSS and we'll say true as the first argument remember that's our profile should we dump this in the R profile we run it let's see what it created first thing we'll open up go to foo in the R profile we see at the end it's dumped that style.r function and that will be sourced every time this directory has started up let's go into report directory and we see that uh, CSS folder has been created right here and also the style.r has been created here now this has already been sourced inside the function and it will be sourced when we start up this directory as well however if you chose not to put it in the R profile or source it you could source it by clicking this box and clicking save and it was just saved to source and you need to this needs to be sourced for um, R Studio and Knitter to work together to say hey here's a custom CSS we're going to use that instead of the default Okay, and inside of CSS we have style.css and this is where you put your custom functions or aesthetic markup of the HTML document. And here we have an example of something we put in here. It's a text box class. Put in there, click save. Let's go into foo then and use that. Div class equals text box. And we'll say hello world. And then we'll close it off with div. And then we'll go ahead and run that. And because the style CSS has been sourced already, we'll get some custom aesthetic additions here. And we can see now we have that box has been added. The vignettes package or the vignette for the reports package is actually uploaded 
but it's styled with a custom CSS. You see this is how it looks when it's generated instead of the typical uh, knitter output. And let's actually go ahead and, and use that custom CSS. Within the reports package it's actually accessible by using the system file xdata vin library vignette rmd css style.css and we're going to create a custom css this is by the way foo2 it's a, a new directory brand new but it'll look very similar to foo1 and we'll use custom css pull it to load it in the r profile and now we will take the foo2 rmd and run it and let's see what the aesthetics look like for that and this is the aesthetics that were created by the style that CSS this has been a demonstration on how to use the custom CSS function from the reports library to style your knitter output in our studio